Obesity. It's literally everywhere. Currently, 42.4% of American citizens are obese. If you don't believe me, just go outside and see for yourself. See, in most areas, obesity is fairly common, but in Vietnam, obesity is rare. Crazy rare. For instance, there are more millionaires in America than there are obese people in Vietnam. But why? Why does Vietnam have such a low obesity rate? See, there are several reasons for this low obesity rate, and that's why we made a list of top five reasons Vietnamese citizens don't commonly get fat. Number one, portion size. In Vietnam, foods are commonly served on smaller plates, which lowers the portion size and regulates the odds of an individual food binging. In addition, Vietnamese meals normally include a larger variety of dishes that are rich in protein, leafy greens, and healthy fats. Fats? Healthy? No way. Yes, fats can be healthy, and that leads us to number two on our list. Number two, healthy fats. What differs popular fats in Vietnam from popular fats in Western countries is where they come from. See, in Vietnam, their fat sources can consist of beef, fish, and healthy oils, such as avocado, sesame, and olive oil. But in America, most of our fat sources come from industrial seed oils and overly processed foods that contain some interesting ingredients. In addition, fish is quite common in Vietnamese cuisine. And if you didn't already know, Fish is very rich in omega-3 fatty acids. Omega-3 fatty acids provide the EPA and DHA your brain relies on to properly function. Studies from the American Journal of Nutrition suggest that 1.5 to 2 grams of fish oil daily can play a significant role in fighting inflammation and helping prevent heart disease. Number 3. Desserts and Snacks Vietnamese snacks and desserts consist of ban chung, better known as square sticky rice cakes, or a large variety of fruits and nuts. Compare this to American snacks and you'll see a large difference. Though recently a popular sweet yet chewy drink has been popularized in America, boba. If you don't know, boba is a tea-based drink that contains tapioca pearls, which will add a unique textural element to the drink. And in recent years, this drink has gained a large popularity in America. Though boba as you know it in the US heavily differs from what you get in Vietnam. See, when Taiwanese immigrants originally brought boba to the U.S., it was a mild and sweetness drink. But over time, we added increased amounts of sugar for pleasure, and currently, boba can contain up to 90 grams of sugar. Number four, cooking methods. Fried food. You know it. You love it. You know what doesn't love it, though? Your arteries. According to a recent study from the National Library of Medicine, 25 to 36 percent of North American adults consume fried foods on the daily. Compare that to Vietnamese adults and that number would be substantially lower. This is due to preferred cooking methods in Vietnamese dishes such as boiling, steaming, and pan searing. In addition, Vietnamese cuisine as a whole is very rich in flavor, which lowers the dependence on frying for flavor. Number five, food sources. There are a variety of diverse ways to source your food, from the grocery store to your local market, or even catching your own fish and growing your own crops. Where you source your food is important, and the nutritional value of your food can differ depending on where you source it. In Vietnam, foods are commonly sourced locally with low traces of any pesticides. Compare that to the U.S., and approximately 70% of non-organic fresh fruits and vegetables contain traces of potentially harmful pe pesticides, which can lead to many hurtful side effects. Now for something I've been looking forward to for a relatively long time. I would like to welcome our first guest and close friend of mine, Chin Wen. The food here, it's going to be like the street food here, it's going to be like a less, less concentrated fat, but more on the natural fat. And so the snacks as well. Um, America, we have a lot of high sodium, high fat like snacks, like um, pig skin is an example, like um, dried up pig skin, that's just, um, there's fat in that as well. There's fat in chips, it's like everywhere. While here, like getting snacks is much harder because supermarkets aren't like walking distance. We don't have CVSs here. And so um, it's gonna be harder to reach and it's just gonna be a much more tedious process. There's not as much like like nearby pharmacies or anywhere you could buy like snacks. It's a much more tedious process. And here, American snacks aren't as advertised, so we don't have your typical Lay's or Lay's.
Kellys or Skittles or your typical candy and that causes us to not have as high of an obesity rate than other countries. To summarize all stated so far, there are several reasons for this low obesity rate. From preferred healthier cooking methods to food perception and accessibility in Vietnam, all around has healthier habits. Now, how can you apply these healthy habits to your daily nutrition? To begin, you can put an effort into having a healthy fat and protein rich diet. In addition, you could also try to source your food more locally and organically. Lastly, instead of having fast food or takeout on the daily, try to prepare yourself a healthy, filling, and nutrient-dense meal, like this one.